Hey guys, we're here in the chem prep lab and Andy's gonna show us a cool experiment. Andy. Okay everybody, this is called the burning ice experiment. What we're gonna do is take this beaker of ice and in this beaker we have a little layer of something called calcium carbide. So, when we pour the ice on top of the calcium carbide, it's going to start, uh, the calcium carbide is gonna react with the water and start releasing acetylene gas. Now acetylene oh. gas <laughs> Almost. There we go. is <laughs> used in welding torches because it burns really hot. So hopefully that gas will ignite here and we should see something Wait happen. Wait for it. Doesn't need more water. It needs more fire. It needs more water. We're just gonna add a little bit more fire to it at the top. And then it's great. I think there was some gas. Oh man! Okay, let's light, let's light it one more time. And this time we'll keep going. Taking a step back. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, All right now turn yes. the lights off. Okay. Fireworks. So Andy, what's happening? So what's happening is that that chemical reaction just keeps happening with the calcium carbide in the water. So it's going to keep releasing acetylene gas, and the ice then will melt, which will release more water to keep that reaction going. And you see it's gonna, uh, there's enough acetylene in there for that fire to stay lit most of the time. So even though both of our sticks on top are out now, that fire is still burning in there. Cool. Uh -huh. I think it looks like the DeLorean in Back to the Future right before it goes Back to the Future. It does. We actually did miles an hour yesterday. Did I mean, you? Tomorrow. Oh God, amazing. I don't know how it works. Where's Doc Brown when you need him? Cool! And there you go.